your skin, Big Bandage. Hey guys, what's up? It is my face story here. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is actually food intolerances. Weird, I know, you're like, what? Okay, so basically I've been trying to get to the root cause of my acne. Is it hormonal? Is it a food intolerance? Is it a parasite? Like what, what, what is going on here? Because I don't even get whiteheads anymore. I don't get blackheads. All I get is cysts. That's it. That's all I get, cysts. So I've been trying to do different tests to figure out and the first stop was a food intolerance test. So if you guys don't know what a food intolerance is, basically your body sees this food as a foreign invader and will like attack it and kind of like send antibodies and it makes you feel sick. Um, it can cause like gas, bloating, upset stomach obviously, headaches, acne, even cystic acne is a symptom of a food intolerance. So that being said, I went ahead and got a food intolerance test done. I used the Penner test which I'm going to show you guys my whole experience with that. It was super simple. And basically you just prick your finger, send in the blood, that's it. There you go, wham, bam, slam. Okay, I'm ready. I think this is where my blood goes. Oh wait, that was my old test. I have a new one because the packaging was messed up. Okay, so wipe your fingers sterilized, opal and opal, opal, open and prepare the blood collection paper. Um, twist forward and pull the stick from the dispenser. Remove the entire stick. The needle is hidden. You will not see it. Place the thin part of the dispenser on your fingertip and press button. Um, so you're gonna have to press a button on me. All right, I'm alcohol swabbing. Wait, should I do that finger? Or should I do this one? Okay. I'm nervous. I don't like needles. Okay. What's it to do with this thing? It says to twist forward and pull the stick in the dispenser. Remove the entire stick. The needle is hidden. Remove it. Twist. Twist forward and pull. Okay. okay now you have to poke me. <sighs> Are you gonna count? Are you gonna count? No, Are you yeah, gonna count? Yeah, I'll count? I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. I can't breathe. Count. Are you gonna make it hurt? Grow up. You've, you've had tattoos before, right? Uh, 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 hold on. Stop it. Give me a finger. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Should do the other finger. Give me your finger. I think we should do this finger. Okay. I think this one will maybe hurt less. Okay. Oh my god, my face hurts. Tyler, I don't like blood. Tyler. Look away. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, I really don't like blood. Do you not want to do this? I do want to do okay, it. Then. I, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Don't hit a bone. 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 <laughs> okay, let's start with touching your finger. <laughs> this is not a needle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're being very difficult. I don't like it. Tell her I really don't like it. <laughs> I can't do this then. I need you to do it. <laughs> look, look, this is not a needle. It's just okay. going against your skin. Is it going to be okay? Yes. Is it going to be okay? You feel it? No. Did it go? It didn't go. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Don't do that, you have to let it drop. Oh, well, same thing. So you said bad, right? No, it wasn't bad, it wasn't no. bad. Oh wait, I can't, I'm not getting enough blood. Yeah, because the alcohol soaked it up. There's blood right there, you're fine. It said it needs at least two to three drops. Squeeze it. Should we do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not 
doing it again. Oh my God, what if they use my blood like and plan it at a crime scene? They're gonna use your blood and clone you. And then I'd be illegal. Okay. Two to three drops will be enough. I wanna make sure they have enough. Like I want, I'm gonna drop just like a little bit more. I just wanna make sure that we do it right the first time. I think that's fine. Do you think that's fine? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't bleed that much. Okay. No, I'm not doing it again. I got blood all up in this. Bloody hell. <laughs> That was a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> Thank you, T. I'm a big baby. I'm just a big baby. Hey, it doesn't even hurt. God. Ah. <sighs> Clean my fingertip and bandage. Cause you little tiny band-aid. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I'm gonna close up the little collection box. Close it up, girl. Close it up. Close it up. And now they've given me a little return shipping. A little return shipping package. And I'm just gonna plop that in there. And I think they give you a form to fill out. So I'm just gonna fill out the form in here, put that in there, and then send it in. And we'll find out if I have any food intolerances. Very exciting. I got my test results. I got my results like I would say like seven days after I sent it in. Also, you're sending your blood to like a random stranger, <laughs> which is like pretty. Okay, don't like, don't frame me for any murders. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> but yeah, so you get it super fast. I got it like seven days after I sent it in. And I was surprised. So you guys know I have avoided dairy and gluten forever. I have always been really, really strict. I've always been like, Okay, in the morning I have celery juice and then I'll have like fruit and then like for lunch I'll have a salad and then for dinner I'll have like chicken and rice. Like I've always, like I've been super strict on my diet, I wanna say for the past like year and a half to the point where it's like honestly driven me crazy. So I feel like a food intolerance test was something that I needed because I needed to show myself like, yes, this can potentially cause acne or no, you don't even have an intolerance. There's no way this is causing you to break out. So that being said, I was really curious to see like, do I have an intolerance to dairy? Do I have an intolerance to gluten? Are they making me break out at all? Is it all in my head? You know, I got the test done and it turns out I do not have an intolerance to either dairy or gluten. Before you take the test, if you have not been eating a food, you have to eat it. And the weeks leading up, I ate both dairy and gluten for two weeks straight, like every single day. And yeah, that didn't show up on my test. I do not have an intolerance to dairy or gluten. But what did show up was that I have an intolerance to turkey, tuna, sweet potatoes, yeah, sweet potatoes, and coconut. Which is like crazy to me because I think my brain was already programmed to be like, no, I don't like these foods because I hate tuna, I hate turkey, and I really don't like sweet potatoes. They make me feel super bloated. But coconut is a different story. I have coconut, or I used to have coconut, like every single day. I've stopped since then, but like, coconut oil, coconut water, coconut butter. you like heard that coconut is like this magical superfood and all these beauty bloggers or health bloggers or whatever tout it as like this magical food and they're like, oh my gosh, you need to eat coconut butter, you need to eat coconut this, you need to eat coconut that. It just kind of like goes to show that just because a blogger is preaching something or it's like the best food for them or the best skincare for them, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the best for you. Just because someone's like, holistic way of living is the best for them. Maybe it's not the best for you. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And now I feel like this food intolerance test really proves that because I was eating so much coconut. I was like, oh, they all say this is like the magical food. They all say like, this will make you feel great. 
but little did I know my body was actually having an intolerance to it. So since then I've cut coconut out. I haven't noticed any major changes yet, but you know, we will see, we will see what happens. It could, you know, my skin could get better, we don't know. But other foods I never really ate, so I feel like that didn't really affect me as much as I thought it was going to. But I'm really happy that I took the test. I feel super relieved because now I feel like I can like go off the rails a little bit. I don't have to be so strict with my diet. Like I can have maybe a little bit of dairy or a little bit of gluten and not beat myself up because I know now, you know, I don't have an intolerance to it. So I feel like I have more food freedom. I don't have to eat like super clean every single day. I can also have like little goodies here and there, or if I go off, if I do go off a little bit, like it's completely fine. I don't know, I just feel a whole lot better. I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders, honestly, just knowing that I don't have an intolerance to those because it, it kind of frees me. It makes me feel a lot better. Like I can eat those foods and not beat myself up. Like, oh, this is why you have acne because it's not. I can eat, you know, a cookie. <laughs> and I don't need to like be upset about it. That has been like the hardest thing for me because I've like researched so much about the diet and skin connection. And I've tried cutting so many different things out and I've been really strict and I've been really not strict. And I think it just really over the years has like made me have like fear of food, like afraid of eating things because I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna make me break out. Obviously listen to your body. If you know something makes you feel like really crap, then don't eat it, which I'm still gonna pretty much avoid dairy and probably avoid gluten too, but I'm definitely not gonna be as strict as I have been. I'm gonna be a lot more lenient. You know, if I go out of town, I'll probably eat maybe a piece of pizza and take a digestive enzyme or, you know, something to help my stomach if I think it's gonna upset it. But I'm not gonna beat myself up anymore. Like this is why you have acne, this is because you ate this, because you did this, because I feel like that's just kind of guilt tripping yourself. And then it's also, I think with the whole diet skin thing, it's a control method. I think for a long time, I've been trying to control my skin, which obviously everyone is, but I'm a control freak. And having something like acne that's kind of out of your control, you know, you buy all the products, you do all the diets, you do all the things, do anything to control it. And I think extreme dieting was my way of being like, okay, if I just eat this, then it'll stay calm and don't eat anything else. And I think that's just like not healthy for your mentality, for <laughs> physical, for all of your health. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend getting a food intolerance test, especially if you're someone like me who thinks that there is a connection between diet and skin because it's made me feel a lot more freer with my food options. It's made me feel a lot more comfortable going out to eat or going you know off my diet going out with friends and just realize that acne is not always in your control sometimes you have the cleanest diet and you can still break out you can have a, a very very expensive skincare routine and still break out you can do all the things and still break out so just realize sometimes it's not in your control but i would recommend food intolerance test if you guys want, I do have a discount code. I don't make any money off of it. I'm not affiliated with it. It just saves you money. It saves you $60. It is my face story if you guys want to use it. Overall, very positive experience. I feel a lot better mentally and I just feel really relieved to know, you know, what my intolerances are and what they are not. So I can know, you know, so I can know, you know, what to avoid. But yeah, that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, no, that's it. That's really it. <laughs> okay, bye.